What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike, this is the Ultimate Tech Hub. Thank you for joining me, I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. So today we're gonna to talk about VLANs, and I'm gonna fully explain what a VLAN is and how it's used. First, what is a VLAN? A virtual local area network. So what do VLANs do? Well, there's three main things a VLAN does. First, it improves security. Second, traffic management. And third, makes your network simpler. And whether you have a business or a home network, a VLAN is a great choice to manage your network traffic. For instance, almost all businesses use VLANs to separate departments within a network. However, you could separate these departments physically by putting all the computers in one area and setting up additional hardware, but that costs money and time. <laughs> so the best way to do this is to separate the departments by VLANs, virtual local area networks. So what does a VLAN do? Well, a VLAN isolates traffic within a network. And VLANs are created on a switch by assigning specific ports to a specific VLAN. For instance, port one will go to VLAN 10, port two goes to VLAN 10, port three VLAN 10, now port four will go to VLAN 20, and on and on. There's no limit to how many ports you can assign to a VLAN. The only limit is the number of ports on your switch. And VLANs are created on layer three switches. However, your home router also has this capability. And setting up VLANs for your home is also very important. My recommendation is to set up a VLAN for your IoT devices, like lights, thermostats, appliances. And if you have a home office like we do, definitely put that on a separate VLAN. You can and should treat your home network like a business network. Simply separate your house into small departments. And there's no limit to the amount of ports you can put on a VLAN or the amount of VLANs you can create. And remember, traffic management is the number one reason we use VLANs. So remember, VLANs divide up the network into smaller broadcast domains, which in turn helps alleviate broadcast traffic and congestion. And VLANs improve security. And lastly, VLANs make your network simpler. So now get out there and create VLANs for your home network. It's easy. And guys, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And as usual, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. And I'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.